Well, the Minister of Education, Adamo Adamo, has affirmed that ASU did not follow due process before embarking on a strike, stating that more time should be given. Professor of Finance, Wilfred Iye Egbuniwe, joins us now on CBC News R to share his thoughts on this. It's good to have you join us, sir, on this, um, at this time. So, um, the, minister's, the minister's statements that more time should be given and that ASU did not follow due process, how much attention should we give to these statements, considering that these um, clamors from ASU are actually agreements they made years ago going into a decade with the federal government. The agreement dates back to 2009. Indeed. So the Minister of Education cannot pretend, it's not aware. Mm. Uh, in fact, some sources say the Minister at some point was involved and in part, as part of the negotiation or at the, uh, of the agreement. I think the problem is that the federal government is not paying due attention to higher education. We want to see technology improve our country. We want development. Education is the foundation for that. And we are not paying attention to it. Without a fact, um, without a doubt, the federal government has um, to answer to these allegations of um, um, education ineptitude. But um, there is supposed to be a mandatory 15 days notice which is contained in the Trade Dispute Act. Are there financial implications to not having given this number of days notice? I don't think there's any financial implication because 15 days is not the period for them to have um, made any payments or mm -hmm. uh, revisit the agreement. Mm -hmm. See, ASU has gone on warning strike before, went back after appeals. And this has been the pattern all of, you know, if you go through the history of uh, ASU relationship with federal government, mm. it has always been go on strike, parents will beg, uh, government will uh, authorities would uh, intervene. At some point, the legislature, the National Assembly was involved, ASU went back to work. And government forgot all about it until this time again. Okay, the, the system, um, it appears, of higher education in Nigeria seems to be synonymous with strike actions. How can, with all the positive strides we've seen from the Buhari government, how can the education sector be injected into, um, the, into the policies, the progressive policies of the administration? I hear you say positive strides. If the positive strikes are touched the higher education, there won't be this strike. So how can it begin to touch I think the, the a very important point I should make is oh. that government should show good example by honoring contracts that it went into voluntarily. Government was not coerced by ASU. The two parties negotiated over time and reached understanding. The agreements were signed. I think it is not a good example that I don't want to qualify government because uh, I will be seen to be uh, saying things that are not looking responsible. Mm. Professor, if you yeah. don't me quickly yes. button here, but you're saying the things that ASU um, is calling for. No doubt Nigerians this know this and the government knows this, but how can the government be persuaded to honor its agreements? That's the question. Why would you say persuasion? If you honor, you go into an agreement, you are bound to honor the agreement. Let's look at um, why, in your estimation, the federal government may have failed to follow through on this 2013 memorandum of understanding. Do you think that um, maybe the agreement was too big in scope or um, did ASU ask for too much? I don't think so. There are no new demands. Hmm. All the demands there as you highlighted, where the agreements reached in 2009. Mm. No new demands have been made. All ASU is demanding is that the ad agreement be implemented. So what's the way forward with the minister saying more time needs to be done, um, ASU sticking with its stance on the strike? What's the way forward considering the plight of the parents and um, students? This is the paradigm we follow all the time. Mm -hmm. ASU goes on strike. Parents to beg. Mm -hmm. We seem to forget that members of ASU are also parents. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. They also have children in the university and polytechnics. So they're affected. You see, I think government should act more responsibly by drawing a timeline for implementation. And that's um, where yes. we draw the line yeah. now. Yeah. There are no new agreements, and the agreements are not things that cannot be done. Mm -hmm. If funding is the issue, then a timeline should be given. This particular aspect of the agreement can be uh, implemented now. See, since the agreement was reached, some professors have retired. There's an agreement there regarding uh, professors who have served for, some, uh, for a long time yes. and retire, how they should be taken care of. Mm -hmm. I think it's a shame if a professor retires and uh, have to begin to look for how to keep body Means and soul going. Yes. No. Oh, well, um, we do believe that um, the, the government should do more concerning education and the in Nigeria. And in fact, that's why I said set a good example, because Indeed. if you go into an agreement, mm. you, must follow you were through. not coerced, you were not forced. Mm. The agreement was voluntarily reached by both parties. After a lengthy deliberation, mm. the government should honor it. Wilfred Iyi Egbuniwe, Professor of Finance, many thanks for joining us. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.